you need these three strengths to build a performing career. I'm Mark Poise, and I've spent most of my life playing drums all over the world with rock, country, and pop artists. I also work as a professional certified coach with leaders in entertainment and business, fostering resilience and fulfillment inside individuals and teams. Today, I'm gonna to use my experience from both of those to lay out the three strengths any performer needs if they want to build a lasting career. Before we go any further, please go ahead and subscribe so that you see everything I share for performers and creatives to thrive in their pursuits. The strengths I'm laying out here are an overview of my online course, The Big Three Steps to the Big Stage. It's the first professional development toolkit to help musicians get and keep the gigs they really want. If you get any value from this video, there is a ton more awaiting you inside. So what's our first area? The first important strength for any performer is the ability to play the part on their instrument of choice at a world-class level. That doesn't just mean having talent or lots of chops, it means having the depth and breadth of experience to know that you can say yes to the task of playing the part in time and in tune anywhere at any time. If you can only make your magic happen with certain gear in a certain place or at a certain time of day, you've got work to do. So many of the performers we all watch are often dealing with less than ideal conditions in one way or another. You just never know it from being in the audience. The task with playing the part is to build your skill set past the point of conscious competence and into the area of unconscious competence. When you started, you likely had conscious incompetence. You knew you couldn't play well. And after years of practice, you gradually build conscious competence, meaning that you can direct your mind to the task of playing or singing at a high level. But a real pro goes a step further. They have unconscious competence after thousands and thousands of hours of rigorous practice. Excellence is something that comes out without even a conscious thought. And that's exactly the level of playing that it's going to take. Being able to match the tone and feel of the music while you're sick, tired, or enduring a wacky monitor mix is the main task you've been hired for. Neither you nor those on stage with you should have any doubt about your ability to deliver the perfect parts effortlessly, regardless of those circumstances. Of course, it's inevitable that I mention the click track. If you can't play well with one, you're going to be about as effective as somebody running their business via fax machine in today's world. I'm not here to make judgments about gridded music being good or bad, but if you want a career, you better make friends with the tool that can carry an entire show on its back. Maybe you've been thinking right now that you've heard all this before. This is the obvious stuff. And you'd be right. Everybody likes to talk about the playing aspect of a performance career. But everything I've mentioned already is less than one third of the big picture. So let's move on to the second strength you need to build a performing career. Strength number two as a performer is looking the part. We should authentically look the part for the roles that we're aspiring to be hired for. This is entertainment after all. And while there's not one way to look that everyone has to adhere to, the choices you make in this department are naturally going to make you a candidate for certain environments and an absolute no-go for others. That's fine. Nobody's right for every situation, and nobody can or should be trying to be everything to everybody. When looking the part as a strength, you'll be able to show up authentically while fitting well into each organization that you partner with. While you might think looking the part is simply about how you dress, it's merely the tip of the iceberg. Just as important and harder to shift are the ways that you carry yourself and the body language that you project. There are so many subtleties to how we look and how we present ourselves that others are drawing subconscious cues from them all the time. It's just another part of being human. By taking conscious control of all the aspects of image, you create a cohesive and authentic narrative that helps show others, as well as yourself, exactly where you're going to be a perfect fit. Before I get to the third critical strength for any performer, I want to take a moment to let you know that each one of these areas, and much more, are explored and assessed in depth with my online course, The Big Three Steps to the Big Stage. Everybody deserves to know what they can improve next, and that's exactly what my students leave with. If you want to ensure that each of these areas is a strength, it's the only comprehensive toolkit out there to do so. You can find the link in the description. All right, so what's the third critical strength to build if you want a performing career? You have to have strong character skills. As I put it, simply be a good person. But before you start thinking this is too simple and easy to be worth mentioning, it is definitely not. Because at the end of the day, a career in music has plenty in common with other professions. 
And as a professional coach, one of the most common ways I support individuals or teams to improve is by fostering growth in one of the ways that relate to this category. This is about so much more than being nice. A performing career involves a ton of non-performance time, and lots of it involves human interaction. Difficult conversations, stress management, personality quirks, and power dynamics are all part of professional life. Building the deep character skills I'm talking about is essential to be someone who builds an actual career beyond just enjoying one lucky break. In the touring world, this is about the other 21, 22, or 23 hours of the day that you're not performing on stage. For better and worse during those times, you are still at work on stage or not. You simply can't go it alone and succeed. You need to have the awareness to manage yourself plus the emotional regulation and social skills to bring your best to the teams you're part of. You'll need to be so good in this area, in fact, that you can handle working with lots of people who are terrible at it. Yeah, welcome to the music business. The fact that lots of performers haven't made this a strength doesn't mean you don't have to, because entertainment is one giant revolving door of people coming and going all the time. If you want a career, if you want to avoid having that door bring you in and kick you right back out, you need to build these skills as much as building the unconscious competence in your performance and the authenticity in the image you project. Once you have each of these areas built up as strengths for yourself, as long as you have access to opportunity in one way or another, it becomes a matter of time until good things come your way. That first opportunity is likely to be the first of many if you truly work to be ready to play the part, look the part, and show up with character. This really is the most reliable way to build a fulfilling performing career if you've got serious ambitions. Whether you'd like to take a deeper dive on each of these areas, want to use my expert assessments to see where you stand, or you want to stock up on lots of other resilience building skills for performers, please consider checking out a free preview of my course, The Big Three Steps to the Big Stage. It's the only comprehensive professional development toolkit for musicians to get and keep the gigs they really want. Find the link below.